Welcome to this video on how to practice ringing using ABLE. ABLE can be used at home by pressing the J key on a keyboard or on a tower bell or dumbbell with a sensor connected to a computer. Setting up. When you open ABLE for the first time, you should find a screen with a series of Sally icons like this. If you have a different view, you can change this by going to Options, then click on Screen forward slash Print Options, and once this opens, go to Bell Pictures and scroll down to HD RWB Sally's. As this video is about practicing your listening skills at home, we are going to use this view. Ringing rounds. The easiest bell to pick out is the tenor in any ring, so we're going to practice ringing the tenor to rounds on six. Therefore, go to the file menu, then click on open, and once the window opens, scroll down to learning exercises near the bottom of the list of methods. Then scroll down to select any method or exercise. It doesn't matter which. In this case, we have selected Basto Doubles as it is near the top. It needs a double click to select the method. Now check that this has been selected under Next Method and that the peel time is suitable. Three hours or a little less is around the norm. The bell that is selected as the simulated bells appears as the bell in the bottom right-hand corner. If you wish to select a different bell, click on it and the icon will move across to the bottom right. As we're practicing ringing rounds on the tenor, we have selected bell number six. To start ringing, you can click on the start button in the center of the rope circle or press the G key on the keyboard once. Then listen and press the J each time you want the tenor to ring. You will find that it is easier not to watch the ropes on the screen and this is what you should be aiming for. When you wish to stand, press escape. Stand. If you want to practice on a different bell, just click on it with the mouse and the bell will move to the right hand corner. Stand. Congratulations, you have now rung rounds on six. How to practice using a simulator. Bell ringing is a complex skill. When you are ringing, you are doing a number of different things simultaneously. You are multitasking. Art's approach is to break this down into a series of smaller, easier to learn skills. You can then put these skills together. However, you may still need more practice on some of these individual skills before you can fully multitask. These skills can be broken down under three headings. Bell control, the ability to hear your bell, and rope sight. All three are interdependent. Bell control is something you need to practice on a one-to-one -one basis with an instructor. A simulator cannot help you. However, an art accredited teacher can. A simulator can help you develop your listening skills and this series of videos explains how you can hone your listening skills using a simulator. The moving ringers view can also help you understand what rope sight is about and help develop some transferable skills that you can build on when you practice these with real ringers in the tower. However, a simulator is a tool to help you learn faster, not a substitute for ringing with a real band of ringers. You need to do both. 
Even if you can do something well on a simulator, you may find that you do not ring it so well in the tower when you start to ring the same thing with real ringers. Nevertheless, your simulator experience will help you pick up things much faster than would otherwise be the case.